Recording, awesome. Let's get this started. Hello everybody, Laura St. John here. Welcome, welcome attendees that are in on this live Zoom right now. Welcome if you're watching this on replay somewhere on the internet at a later date, whether it's on our YouTube channel, in our Facebook group, Strong Confident Living, or on the Be Happy page to over a million people right now. I am super duper honored to be part of this time with you. I'm going to dish out how to set and crush epic goals in 2021 like you never have like set and crushed them ever before because you are at a different time in your life. And as a mindset coach, I just want to always remind you, no matter what's swirling around in your life right now, that I want you to embrace trust. Trust in yourself that you are exactly where you're meant to be in this moment trust in the process and just know that stuck is only a feeling. You have to minimize stuck because where you get stuck in self-doubt is about to be torn apart and ripped down so you can step forward into a new version of you, the version of you that was born into this planet earth to set and crush epic goals. So thank you again for being here. Your time is one of the biggest commodities in life because we are here for a scratch of time. And if you ever look at the people, like there's articles on like the regrets of the dying and stuff and like on, like at the end of your life, okay, and talk about an epic goal. I want you to look back and be like, I did that. I did that. Okay, I didn't just crush an epic goal in 2021. I crushed goals from that day forward for the rest of my life. I lived the life that made me feel good about myself and that not just myself, but the people that I've impacted. I stepped into becoming the role model and like finding my truest, most authentic self that happens when you're feeling strong and when you're feeling confident, okay? That's what happens, guys, and that is what's happening inside our movement. Hi, I'm Laura St. John. For those of you who do not know me, you're about to know me. I am a mindset coach. My name is Laura, which someone taught me is L is toward and Aura is light. I just had someone sign up in our membership last night and her name was Laura. And I literally emailed her back because she signed off Laura and she's like, this is spectacular or something. And I was like, you know what's spectacular? You need to know what your name means. Your name means toward the aura, <laughs> toward the light. Your aura is like how you step into a room. Everything that you don't say is like oozes from you at all times. It's also the intangible thing that will help you set and crush epic goals this year and forever. So when it comes down to the rest of like your life and one day you look back and you're like, I did that. And whoever you want to clink that glass with, okay, I would love it to be me, but like, just think about the most important people in your life. Think about that because from an epic goal standpoint, I really want you sometimes to go with me that deep to the most resistant free version of you, the most resistant free version of you. I go to 104 year old Laura. Okay, the epic goal crushing Laura that has been crushing goals like since I was little, but that I'm like sitting back at 104 years old and I see this big Tuscan house and I see this family and it's like grandchildren and all these people in my family that I don't even know yet. And I'm like, I friggin' did that. I love my life. I made this impact. I opened tons of hearts. I was the teacher that you found that opened up that people who just needed more belief in themselves and to see a bigger vision for themselves, you found me. And you found yourself by finding me because I'm just going to light back up you. Okay, my job as a mindset coach is to kind of get into your brain and remind you who you are. Who you are is a strong, confident person. And when you lose that, like I'm saying, you'll find out the depth of you, which is so exciting to me because underneath it all, our truth, if you are seeking unbelievable truth in your life, if you are seeking like, 
I need to get on this path. And not only do I need to lose, you know, 100 pounds or 80 pounds or 60 pounds, not only do I need to, you know, build a better bank account, not only do I need to have a greater relationship with this person or my family or my spouse or my this, I, I need to be a better parent, whatever your epic goals are, I am not to dictate those to you. Okay, because you know, and I will help you get clear on them. But at the end of the day, my job is to help you like literally, I, I explained this on a broadcast today. It's not even just to close the gap between where you are now, point A, and where you want to be, point B. It's to show you that that's not a gap. It's actually just that there's blocks in the way. It's a, it'll feel like a path in this lifetime as we unfold and we create this incredible life together of strong covenant living and you become the example of everything you've wanted to be. But it, what it actually is, okay, as you guys really do the, my manifesting course and you do the Epic Goals course and you do the things in 2021 with me, you'll see it's an unblocking that the more you just remove the barriers to who you truly are, those that no labels, no limits. Let me know if you can get around no labels, no limits. Like literally that is a philosophy because everyone can be strong and confident. Everyone can crush epic goals. So I'm ready to get to the juicy sauce because I see like, again, I see this vision for you, like from me to you, congratulating you towards the end of your life, looking back, being like it 2021, was friggin' pivotal. Coming off of 2020, when you had all these struggles, so now I'm gonna get into my lessons. So take out a pen and let's go. <laughs> take out a pen and let's go. Now it's the juicy sauce, because at the end of the day, I want you to realize this is the year that created the pivot that what I call is the up spiral, okay? And most people are stuck in the land of the down spiral. Okay, I know it's kind of bright here. So let me see. Can you see that? Okay, so it's going to feel a little bit like this, but then there's going to be a point and then there's going to be another point where you're going to go into serious, dramatic momentum in your life. So I just want you to imagine with me right here, right now. So welcome. Thank you. Thanks for being here and, and let everybody know in the chat because we had several new people joining in. Hello, say hi, let them know where you're coming in from. And I want you to really think right now about an epic goal that you want to crush. So looking back even years from now, you're like, that was the year. That was the year that my whole life took a turn, not for the worse. People think a turn and they think the worst. They think spiral, they think down spiral. I'm going to train your brain to think when you think spiraling, you think up spiraling, not down spiraling. You think of a life that can get better and better, not worse and worse. And that is possible. And you guys have seen it. You've seen it inside our community if you've been following us for years and it's amazing to watch. But now we're gonna get into the, to the nitty gritty, okay? Because there's a lot of momentum right now. The momentum of a calendar year has changed and it's, it's four days in. Okay, we are four days in to the new year, just four. And you might already be feeling like, eh, Okay, let us know in the chat. How are you feeling four days in? Are you feeling, and, and anything, there's no wrong answer, guys. Okay, your feelings are your feelings. Every feeling is inside you right now. It's like, which one are you tapping into is based on your thoughts, energized and motivated. I love it. How else are you guys feeling? Is anyone feeling self-doubt, hopeful, so much possibility? Today was struggling. Clear and focus, overwhelmed. Oh, I get you, girl. Feeling determined, positive, better than last week. Okay. Uncluttered. I love that. Beautiful. Keep it coming. Tapping into clarity. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So excited. I'm almost anxious. Yes, because nervous and excited come from the same place. Working through struggles the last couple of days. Thank you for being real and strong. Okay. Love it. You guys keep it coming because. Now, the first thing, I'm going to have you write down a series of things as if, again, we're doing, this is kind of like our secret group mindset coaching that we do when you're a member, right? And members, you're going to get more of me on Wednesday to mark your calendar, January 6th. If you want more of me, I'm going to do like a deeper dive of this, of just <laughs> furthering this for you guys. But number one is every feeling is inside me right now. Every feeling is inside me right now. My thoughts that I am thinking at this present moment 
will allow me to tap into the same feeling, the same version, but worse or a different feeling. So just hold on to the fact that every feeling is inside you. And if you don't believe me, imagine watching a movie and that in one minute you're crying and then one minute you're laughing and you're being moved by characters on the screen, okay? But your life is like that. You have a cast of characters. Maybe it's your coworkers, your family, your different people in your life, okay? And when you saw my broadcast, if you did this morning, I talked about like, you know, not only that cast of characters, but where have you been playing in your life? If you want to be an epic goal crusher, you have to tap into your emotional intelligence at a whole other level through your thoughts. And then you have to take action and follow through into the physical realm, into your physical reality, which is why we do the mindset with me where I'm like, well, let me just work on your thoughts with you so you can tap into your emotional power because your behaviors and actions follow your emotional strength or lack of in the moment. If we can get your emotional strength up and feeling strong and confident, and then you also learn, you know, through our fitness programs and through our mindset, how to take action on that feeling. You will shift from the actions and behaviors that don't, don't go with the emotions you want. So for example, if you're an emotional eater and you're like, epic goal, I want to stop emotional eating. Okay. Everything I'm telling you right now is actually going to stop emotional eating because an emotion that triggers the action. And you've just done it over and over and over again. But if you backtrack one other step, the thought came first, that we are in a thought-based place, okay? And this planet Earth is thought-based. Everything is based initially on thought expanding. And when you have a thought that then pulls up an emotion, okay, you're like, I wanna lose weight in 2021. I wanna get a new job. I want the love of my life whatever it is, okay, that thought comes in and that emotion is either going to be like, yes, yes, that's awesome, I'm on track. Or if there's a block, which is what I was talking about a minute ago, you're gonna suddenly feel self-doubt and that's gonna show up in different ways, okay? Self-doubt is gonna show up as comparison. It's gonna show up as self-sabotage. It's gonna show up like, like how can I do this, Laura? It's gonna show up in different ways. But when you learn to harness this strength, and harness the confidence to see this version of you, okay, whether it's the 104 version, uh, year old version of you or the December 31st, 2021 version of you that's clinking the glass and saying, I crushed an epic goal. I harnessed the number one strength inside me, my emotional power. I stopped handing the keys away to food. I stopped handing the keys away of my happiness and my health to the scale. I stopped handing the keys away to that icky boss or relationship or that problem that I felt was so big that it was controlling me. So the first ding, 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 in order to crush an epic goal is to learn to recognize that you have every power inside you right now because harnessing that emotional power and that strength is what's going to gift you the opportunity to actually take the action and follow through this year like you haven't before. And there are steps to this. There are total steps to this. So let me give you the steps right now. Okay, step one, again, I gave you was all the feelings that I ever need are inside me right now. What I'm choosing to light up is always a choice. So if you're like, eh, but Laura, my coworkers are toxic. Okay, but then you choose to let whether that lights up frustration and anger and ick and whether you want to meet them at your, their level or whether you rise above and say, despite all these struggles, I am strong and I am confident and I can and I will and I see a clearer vision and that's going to harness my willpower. It's going to harness this strength. It's going to harness all these things, okay? This week, I let go of anger and frustration over a situation I had absolutely no control over. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the chat, Regina. Amazing. Because when you let things zap your energy, your emotional power, 
get zapped, you know. And that's where the most of the world is. They're exhausted. You're tired. You don't look younger with age. You look like you're aging. You don't have to, okay? You look and feel the physical expression of you. You're probably carrying excess weight because that stress that you are holding onto. When I see people and I see people wearing excess weight, I see it like clothing, right? I see excess fat, excess weight, literally like clothing. It's why I help so many people through weight loss. Because when I look at you, I only see the truth of you. The truth of who you are is the same truth of who I am, which is underneath all of our labels, we are limitless, okay? And sometimes that's scary. But if you are ready to raise the limits on yourself, then you've come to the right place, okay? Because everyone is limitless. It's why our content works with three and four-year-olds, and that's where we were, you know, in the education realm. It's why it works with people in their 70s, 80s, and any age, any age, any problem, our content works. So I'm just going to keep dishing out some nuggets, and you're going to hear something in the next half hour that is literally going to pivot your life in the positive, that is going to have you see your struggle that you're in differently. And that is my job to meet you where you're at and say, wherever you are at. So here's the, the next nugget. Wherever you are at, again, please trust that you're exactly where you're meant to be, even if it sucks. That all the ups and all the downs have led you to this moment right now, okay? To this moment. And when you do our Epic Goals course, I know this is the workshop version, you know in lesson one in our mini course, I'm just going to share my screen right now because this will also help me guide um, myself into our content. Here, you know when you do this with me on how to set an epic goal, the very first thing I give to you are literally all my charts of ups and downs. And you see me in here and you see me holding on to that whiteboard of you have ups, you've had downs. Okay, they've happened. Okay, and you're still here right now and you're alive and you're here. Okay, now what are you going to do about it? Now we're going to play it differently. Even if you do still have a humongous challenge and you're like, Laura, but I'm in a down right now. And I'm like, okay, you're still exactly where you're meant to be. And the only way to inch your way out of that and to start to see solutions all over, all over that you didn't see before is to actually gift you the time and love that you need to carve yourself the daily space to take care of it, to take care of yourself. And when you take care of yourself, the it will take care of itself too. I promise you guys. I promise you. Okay. Focused. Focused. I love it. I, like the, I love the chat. Okay. This is a Christmas present. Focus. Focus. We need to harness our focused energy on our emotional strength and confidence. And the way I define that, okay, if you're going to be taking notes, is strength is my ability to be stronger, more resilient, take action, say I can, I will, and actually push through the depth of me, okay? The strength is what you do with me from mindset and with Scott from fitness when you don't think you have another rep in you. When you're like, Laura, but my down arrow, you don't understand my struggle right now. Like I'm about to, this is where my financial situation is. This is where my relationships are. This is where what's happening with my kids. This is what's happening in my family or my job. And you guys, I am not here to diminish it. I'm here to help you get out of it, okay? I'm not here to be like, oh, oh, everything's great and peachy. No, I'm saying you are more strong than sometimes you even know. And when you can recognize that down and up are still what got you here and you can focus on solutions and not the problems, you're going to change. Okay, you're going to change. So make a commitment to yourself right now to ask yourself every time you're feeling the ick of any problems you're experiencing right now, am I feeling the ick of the problem right now and I'm trying to move my, my way out of it? That's exhausting. Or am I pointing myself towards a really clear vision that you're gonna learn how to do right now it, that I learned in the Epic Goals course so I can clarify, and you guys, again, you can clarify that is step two, okay? How to flip things and get into clarity. And I'm not just gonna 
I'm going to give you as much as I can in this workshop and know that that is like, this is just one of our 18, right? Courses that you get inside our program, because sometimes goals are a little bit fuzzy. Sometimes they're a little bit fuzzy, but the first step are, I've got all the feelings inside me right now in my heart. Am I harnessing my emotional strength or am I draining it? Okay. Ask yourself, am I draining it every day? Do I go to sleep at night? And I'm hopeful and energized that still solutions are on its way. And how is this going to work out for me? Or am, I, or am I like down on myself and I'm kicking myself and I'm saying, how is this going to work out for me? Okay, that can be looked at in two different ways. I will help you be like, how's this going to work out for me? Because things are only getting better. Like, how is this challenge possibly going to serve me to even like, get to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing. So I want you guys to get there and you will. Clarity is the greatest gift that you can give yourself. And it all starts with trusting that these ups and downs brought you here today. So really harness that, write that down. All my ups and downs got me here right now. Now, January 4th, 2021, or whenever you're watching this later, you guys, this is where I created amazing change. This is where when I clinked my glass on, Jan on December 31st, 2021, I'm like, oh my God, remember that one nugget that changed it all, that changed my pivot, okay? So that's the first thing I want you to hint, hint, like hold on to. The next thing I want you to hold on to was who knew success was a lot closer than I ever imagined, okay? In terms of epic goal setting, if you want to set and, and crush an epic goal, I want you to imagine like, here's your nose and that the goal's right here and that it was just invisible because it is. Okay, so I want you to imagine that, that like there's me and there's one inch from me and who knew that chapter seven of my book of life, which is me, like my strong, confident life, who knew chapters one through seven would endure these ups and downs in my lifetime up to chapter eight, which got really juicy in 2021. Okay. So today is that new chapter. The new year brings you the new chapter feels. So that's why you're like, who knew it was so close? I'm ready to write my next chapter. That's the next step. Okay. Now it's getting clear. Who's clear on a goal? If you know, put it in the chat. If you are clear on an epic goal that you want to crush in 2021, let's start bringing it out. And, and this will amp up your accountability because what we see inside our programs is the more engaged you guys are, the more engaged you are, the more you are crushing your goals because the, you have the community that has your back. You have our strong, confident living community. Okay, so if you are like courageous enough to feel like you can bring an epic goal out into mainstream, which is this chat, which can again, you know, be seen again over and over and again, like build business, go executive, continuing my health and wellness journey. Awesome. Okay. You guys, there's no wrong answer. Own it, my, buy my own spot like home. Oh, I love that. I want to help as many people I can homeschool their kids. A thousand subscribers, purging, decluttering, making room. Um, getting, getting fit into my pre-COVID pants. We got you, girl. Continued weight loss. Amazing. You guys, you are totally on track. I'm going to help you with all these. My goal to be healthy all, way, all the way around, right? Not just physical health, every kind of health. Lose weight, become healthy again. Downsize, purchase my retirement home. Love it. Have 50 to 100K in my bank account. Love it. Okay, I love that goal because it's so specific. Want to set up my life career. I can travel, live in two places when my youngest leaves in two years. I love it. Getting back on track after being sick. OMG, Janine, I, you know I got you, girl. I've been thinking of you. All right, you guys keep it coming. Keep it coming because the more you put it out there, you're literally putting it out there. You're not just putting it out there. You're putting it out there. How do I now crush the goals? Okay, someone, Tara, emailed me last night and then I was emailing her back and she was laughing with me because I was already answering her and she was like no no, no I was emailing you questions Laura for the workshop <laughs> and one of the things that she wrote that was so genius was I have so many goals how do I organize them how do I organize my goals okay so here's how you organize them and for those of you who are group coaching with me on Wednesday okay for members who are inside our membership 
um, at Strong Covenant Living. I am going to help you um, like really fold the piece of paper in half and break epic goals into all like eight areas of your life. Okay, eight areas from parenting to body to mindset to everything. So I'm just gonna, in this workshop, give you the rundown of how to organize. And then on Wednesday, I'm gonna actually organize every area of your life with you. So that's coming. But for this, for, for the sake of this workshop, I want you to pick one epic goal. One epic goal, okay? I have a big epic goal and you have a big epic goal. We should all have a big epic goal. It's got to be crystal clear. What does this epic goal looking back? Okay, so now I'm gonna bring you to your future you that does not have the same resistance and self-doubt that your current you might have. I want you to ask yourself, what does my epic goal crushed look like, feel like, smell like, taste like, if I were to stick your epic goal into this crystal Buddha ball, okay, that I can shake with all of my like, loving gold little energy here and be like, oh my gosh, what does that look like as if it were like playing out for you? What does it look like? Okay. Amazing. Amazing. What does that look like? Because every time I'm going to give you a secret sauce, Laura tip. Every time I set and crush an epic goal, it all starts with a crystal clear vision for myself and my cast of characters in my life. Okay? I like to call them my cast of characters because I'm writing the book of my life. I am the author of Laura St. John, okay? Just like you are the author of your own book. And when you take the keys back and you take the pen in your hand and you start writing, you're amazed at how things shift. But if you are just like, I just want to be healthy. Okay, that's not specific enough. What does healthy look like, feel like, and taste like to you if you see yourself as healthy as possible? You got to spell that out. Spell that out and start putting it right now in your notebook. If you're taking notes, you can share it in the chat. I love to see the notes because what is healthy then? If, if for those of you who wanted to lose weight or get healthier, get this body back or have more money in my account, okay? I loved like, okay, what does more money mean? I loved the monthly amount. I want you guys to look and see and feel it. So I'm gonna give you an example. Okay, because a lot of you have seen my posts in the last couple of days as I've blown my own mind looking at my 39 year old self. I turn 45 tomorrow is my B day. And I love like to think about what's the gift that I have to the world. Why was I born? I was born La Aura to bring you toward the light. Okay, the light side, the positive side of things. But what have I, I've given that gift to myself first. I've given that gift to myself so I could gift it to you, which is insight is more powerful than eyesight. When you close your eyes and can imagine a crystal ball of what your life looks like having that epic goal crushed, what does it look like guys? Because when I, like I learned this gift, okay. I learned this gift really young and a lot of you know my story. Okay. I saw at six years old, my mom got two years to live. And she's alive and well today and enjoying all her grandkids because she drew a line and she imagined and she always taught us to imagine, okay, what life would be like if you didn't listen to the people who said, well, you've got this, this is what's going to happen now and this and that. And you stopped letting external circumstances dictate your goal, okay? You stopped setting the bar and then moving the bar. This is your bar. What can you imagine for yourself right now? How clear is that to you? Because for my mom, when she was sick, it was she saw her and my, me and my two sisters and my dad like fine. And she held it and she got to the right doctors. All the pieces fell in place. Long story short, she not only survived, she thrived. Okay. I taught, I, like I was taught this as a mindset at the most formative time in my life when your brain is still forming. And I'm here to teach it to you because the power of imagination is being misused by most, most of you towards what if this goes wrong? What if he gets in an accident? What if she doesn't finish college? What if I get sick? What if blah, 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 blah. You fill in the blanks. 
And most people in their crystal ball of what if are not thinking, what if it goes right and life gets better and better? Most people are looking at their ball saying, what if all the things I'm worried about actually come true and my life sucks even more? And I'm here to ding, ding, ding that. And you guys know that this is a full on lesson inside that course. Do you use your imagination to worry? Because this was such, this is such a big superpower. And this is such a big nugget to crushing an epic goal that if you don't use your imagination every single day, I mean, practicing imagination. I mean, while you're driving and you're not just thinking about the road and you're thinking about aimless stuff while you're driving. I mean, while you're talking, like while you're brushing your teeth, like while I brush my teeth, this is a snippet. This is a big nugget. When I brush my teeth, and this is like, if you were ever privately mindset coached by me, well, you'd laugh at this, okay? I, I stack habits. So when I brush my teeth, I am literally imagining what's inside my crystal ball because I know I have to brush my teeth twice a day. <laughs> and I know you do too. And I know I'm gonna do it for two minutes. So there's four minutes that I just gifted you when you tell me I don't have time, Laura, because I was you. I said, I don't have time. I don't have time to like consciously create and crush my epic goal. Like I'm busy. I'm busy doing it. I'm busy like taking massive action. And what I didn't realize guys and what many people are doing wrong, thank you for the happy birthday wishes, is that most people are already like imagining what's going wrong and then also going into massive action, trying to undo that. And you have to stop. This is your ding ding. This is why so many of you are on this webinar right now, on this workshop with me. And you have to say, my work right now is getting really clear. And I, and I, I call that two minute movies. Okay. I will, I have two minute movies go on in my head throughout the day and they represent different things. Okay. So when you're teeth brushing, <laughs> tonight when you're going to bed and you have a little five inch Laura on your shoulder and you're thinking about your epic goal I'm going to be like is it clear enough can you taste it can you smell it because when I lived in freezing cold Colorado and I just wanted to live at the beach okay I got to life on vacay I moved from Jersey to Colorado I lived in beautiful Breckenridge I lived in Brecken and I lived in Jackson Hole Wyoming I mean jaw dropping unbelievable places I'm I am not complaining okay I've created this path I've created these chapters but when I sat there freezing and I'm like I really just want to live in the land of palm trees I want to live at the beach I started popping every time I did a workout guys every pine tree popped into a palm tree and every time I brushed my teeth, because I knew I could give myself those two minutes, even if I was busy with my kids, busy with work, busy, 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 I knew I could be like, but I'm brushing my teeth and I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm imagining that two minute movie of me living at the beach. And you know what I imagined, just so you guys could get clear? Okay, I imagined this, okay? I imagined this, I imagined, a 16 year old, a 14 year old and a 10 year old and a 44 year old and a 45 year old at the time of this, like this walking on the beach. And I, I could just see it for two minutes walking on the beach and playing football. Like literally these like have now happened. Okay. And that's why I just printed this for my own self on my own. This was my two minute movie. And what I'm telling you guys to have is this had to play in my brain before it became a reality. This Okay, my sons, my family, family fun and freedom, attaching it to your core values, okay, and getting really clear being like, well, maybe I just don't want more vacation, maybe I want to live on vacation. Okay, maybe you want that too. Okay, well, it took a lot of it, it took a lot of time imagining this up. But ultimately, the two minute movie of like me getting there was me playing football at the beach with the kids and just watching them. And when we went to do this photo shoot, and the kids literally just put the football in the car and they took it out. Like I have a photo of me like on the rock because I was like, holy crap, I'm here. Like I'm here. And I want you guys to do that. I did another epic goal. Okay, another epic goal that I had. And this is why I want to teach you guys the two minute movie thing. I know I have another picture here that I want to share with you, but um, I imagine that I wanted to go to Italy, okay? 
Oh, this was my ding, ding, ding moment. This was my holy SHIT moment of I am in Malibu, California. Like I made it to my epic goal. Like, OMG, guys, you can too. Okay. This is not like you can. Okay. And not this, if, if you want to live beach life, yes. But I'm like, wow, I imagine this. And that was my moment when I saw Sam with the football behind me, my oldest being like, this is my movie. Okay. And then the same thing with Italy. And the reason I'm sharing this with you, because you guys like Italy, I just had, I want to go to Italy. 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 I had no idea. And I'll, t and I'll show you guys <laughs> at some point, I have a picture in our bathroom of Burano. Okay. Now I've since gotten this at Burano, like of like really cool, like Italy pick. Right. And I have a real picture. It's a photograph that I got years ago and it's on my wall. I didn't even know that it was Italy. I thought maybe it was Spain. I'd never been to Europe. I had never like used my passport until a few years ago when I went to Italy in 2018 with Team USA. Okay, so that's a whole other conversation of me coaching kids. Okay, and I went with Team USA for gymnastics. You guys, all I pictured, all I pictured was the moment for two minutes of when you're, you know when your foot gets on the airplane? When your foot gets on the airplane, I go like this and I kiss the airplane and I say, thank you. Like, you know, just like have me arrive safely. I do a little like prayer <laughs> like before I get on the airplane I'm, mwah, mwah. and like my kids and my family like shakes their head at me. But that was all in my two minute movie that I was, all I could see was me stepping onto the airplane being like, I got, I'm going to Italy. I, I got here. I, I don't know how, but I got here. Okay. So when that happened, then I went with my sister Kat who's on, and my niece, Livy Dunn, who's since become famous. And, I, and I'm like her mindset. I was her original mindset coach, guys. And she was like, I just want to be having that blue star on TikTok and, you know, famous. She's now famous, right? And she's an unbelievable gymnast. But when I went with her, them to, and to Italy, I was like, Laura St. John, this was your epic goal that I wrote years ago. And it, it's coming true. It's coming true. Thank God you were patient. Thank goodness. Okay. Because it was really, this trip was in front of you all along. You just didn't see how it was going to unfold and it unfolded in the most beautiful way. You got to go with your sister. You got to go with your niece. You got to make this amazing memory that you will always have in your heart. And you guys, I always want, my wish for you is to know that this exists in your heart right now. You know what you want. Okay. Even if it's not super clear, when you guys see my image that I posted the other day of what I looked like at 39, okay, 39 years old, the 39 year old version of me already five years into my own health journey, five years in, okay, I'm going to pull it up so you guys can see because some of you are brand new to me and I am like, OMG, I got to think or yeah, that version of me that looks older, that even my 10 year old was like, mom, you're getting younger while you're getting older. Okay. Yes. And I said, yes. Do you know why? Not only was it an epic goal to lose the weight and feel better with age, but my goal was to become brighter and happier and an example of what's possible. That's an epic goal, right? My goal was to not, I know the struggles I was enduring in 2014. I know the stress that was on me and I don't want to do over and I don't want to do over for you guys. So that epic goal was look and feel better with every decade, be an example of what's possible, and then start to close the gap now between what does that look like and feel like, okay? What does that look like and feel like with your goal of getting healthier, staying on track with your health goals? What does that look like when you've reached it? What is the two minute movie that you are playing how are you treating yourself in the mirror? How are you like, you know, when you're feeling annoyed, how are you handling yourself? How are you, you know, like, like I know how I was when I was not feeling happy in my own skin. And my epic goal was, I just want to feel better. I don't like the way I look physically. I don't like the way my, I look in the mirror. I don't own a pair of shorts. You guys, you see me all strong and confident now, and you see our framework to get there, but I was not all that. I didn't own shorts till I was 40, okay? 40, okay? At that picture, 39 here, 
I did not own a pair of shorts. Not one. I was with my husband for over 20 years. No. So don't think like, Lori, you have it all figured out. I'm like, yeah, I've got it all figured out in a framework because I've had these oops moments too. And I know the 39 year old self when I was angry in my own body would be more angry when I was like, would spew it to the people closest to me. The people who I actually love the most, my husband, my kids would get the ugliest version of me, the most stressed out version of me, because I knew no matter what they had my back. Okay. They would love me no matter what. And if that is you right now, please let this be your ding, ding, ding moment. Okay. Because I want everyone to rock every decade women in the house. Okay. You can, that your body, if you've had a baby and I say this a lot, I'm like, if you can create life with organs and like another heart beating, like, and men, like you do this too, you, you, you participate, <laughs> but like, if we can create another human as a species, we can create ourselves better. You can, you can, and you will. And it is not just in this diet or this plan, it is in the unlocking of the limiting beliefs and saying, I can do this. Everyone can do this. I can harness my emotional power differently. I can stand up more strong and confident today. I can go through down moments differently. I can play this two minute movie as much as I want. And it's no one else's, but mine. Okay. So like no one else's, but mine is so important guys because too many people don't own their own vision and are still stuck in someone else's limited vision for you and your life. This is you. This is your life. This is your opportunity to create change for yourself, your family, and all your loved ones. I want you to practice. If you like hung up from this webinar now, but I'm going to keep going for 15 minutes. <laughs> if you hung up from this webinar right now and workshop, I want you to biggest takeaway would already be like, is my two minute movie of this epic goal crushed clear? So crystal clear that like, you guys will learn this in the manifesting course that's coming out next is that like, you can hear it. I could hear the ocean when this was happening, okay? I could see and imagine the giggles. You can hear it, you can see it, you can taste the salty air. You have, if you're not that clear, you're going to keep getting a target that is like regurgitated from your past. You're gonna keep getting a target like that your brain is working towards that is wishy-washy, that is gonna give you a 50-50 result. Because what goes inside here is pure. It's 100%. But right now, you have something inside here. You just aren't consciously aware and creating it. That's why it's giving you the same old, same old. Okay? And thank you, Vanessa. You said, I truly need to get clearer, and that's why I struggled. So many people are struggling because they're like, well, if everything outside of this two-minute movie would just cooperate, like my life in here would be pristine and it doesn't work that way. You need to start loving your life that's inside here and getting really clear on it right now. So, and then when you see it as a two minute movie, it's representative of the life you're living at that moment. So this moment is representative, right? Of the life I'm living right now. Okay, but I could start imagining what that feeling would feel like the ease that I would want to have. And I could start going there in my imagination. Now, I would love for you to sit on your bed and do it in the morning while you're drinking a cup of coffee. That's what I do in the morning, right? My family calls it Laura Land. I go there. I go there every day. Okay, go to Amanda Land. <laughs> I love that. Go to Tara Land. Go to, you know, Amy Land. Go to your land. And inside your land, okay, like Laura Land, it's beautiful. It used to be like a wicked forest, guys. And I used to worry all the time. And then when you are worrying, you are putting all of your focused energy into a negative outcome that has not yet happened. Based on really strong emotions, 
and actions and maybe behaviors and that have turned into experiences of your past, your recollections that are being coughed up over and over again in different ways because you haven't cleaned it up. And the path to start cleaning it up is to start moving away from the problem and start like trying to stop trying to fix the problem, I mean, and start creating. You are naturally born here to create your life. And I want to empower you with those tools. Okay. So whew, I could talk about imagination and getting clear and all that and your two minute movies. And I want to help you guys do that on Wednesday night where we get clear, like, like what's your two minute family movie? Like my two minute friendship movie is like me and my friends, like I have a little two minute movie of us having coffee together. I have a two minute movie of, you know, walking on the beach. I have a two minute movie of FaceTiming some friends that are far away. Like you have to have all these two minute movies playing. And then when they happen in real life, you're like, damn, I created that. I saw it. And then I believed it was possible. I did not move the bar. And now look at, look at what's happening around me. I am making it come true because I'm holding that vision. And when I hold the vision, and I believe it's possible, which is the piece that Scott and I both give you. And we say, yes, it's right there. You got another rep. Yes, dig deeper. It's inside your heart. Okay, your vision, that's why I say insight's more po powerful than eyesight. Your vision is not from your eyes. It is from your heart. And you have to start listening to your heart. And listening is different than hearing. Okay, it's just like seeing your vision, you have to go into your heart and you're like, what do I really want for myself? Am I doing it? Am I living this strong, confident life? Do I have the body I want? Do I have the relationships do I want? Do I have the bank account I, that I want? Am I living this beautiful, epic, goal-driven life that is not just like crushing and conquering, but being more relaxed and easy and like loving life? That's possible, guys. It's possible for all of us. And you have to amplify, like now that you, I've cut, talk, kind of talked to you about setting the epic goal and getting really crystal clear on it and stuffing it in and, and having these two minute things represent the thing. So like imagine a two minute movie of you moving $10,000 into your bank account and then it paying all those bills. Like that, how great is that movie to play over and over and over again? Or do you wake up and you're like, <gasps> I got this bank alert and now I got to do this. And now I got to do that. And now I got to do this. And how am I going to do that? And my hair is being like, I'm going to pull out my hair. Oh my God, there's not enough of me. And my to-do list is going, you guys, there is a different way. There is a different, and it is a tiny pivot in, in the more positive direction. And there are steps and frameworks, okay, that we've created for you on all these things. So you clarify your big epic goal of this year. You see it in a two minute movie and you recognize why do I want that? Why do I want that body? Okay, because I want to show my kids like I'm strong and confident. Like I could rock a bikini. I can have a six pack abs, but what does that represent to you? Okay, back to the two minute movie. Okay, like you see that body that you want in the mirror. It is the body that you like totally are like, man, it feels so good to zip up any pants, any shirt, like come out of the dressing room and feel like I can rock any clothes and feel good in that. Such a good feeling. Okay, such a good feeling. And when I was unhappy in my body, I had to be like, well, what is this Laura choosing? Okay, why does this Laura want that body? Okay, the Laura that I see in the two minute movie, like she wants to show her kids that she doesn't hate on herself all day, that she takes care of herself. And that teaches them that the most important thing to do is they need to take care of their happiness and their health. I wanna take a stand for that. So the beings around me, whether they're my kids or other humans, feel that strength and confidence oozing, okay? That intangible ooze that comes out of you in your attitude. And, and I, again, that attitude exists inside you. So what is that why that drives you? And a lot of people say it's my kids, it's like, you know, my happiness, it's my family, it's the things I love, like they're your why, okay? So, but go further. Why do you want to do that for them? What is the feeling or thing that it signifies to you, right? What is that when you amplify your why? It's not just have a why. Having a why is plastering it up on your wall. Having a why is just like, you know, putting it up there 
and saying like, I, you know, I, this is, this is what I'm working towards. No, you can bring that into right now. You can go deeper. You can say, because, okay, maybe my kids are my why, but what about my kids? I want them to be happy and healthy. I want them to not need to have an external thing change in order for them to seek their own health and happiness. I want them to stand in their purpose and bring greatness into this world, whatever that means to them. I want to go to sleep at night as a mama and be like happy and fulfilled because everyone around me is happy and fulfilled because I'm bringing out my best me, which brings out the best in everybody. I want to create a movement of strong, confident badasses because strong, confident people find their most authentic selves. Okay. My why is me right now. I love that. I love that. Your why should be you because ultimately it does come back to you. Seeing my kids happy makes me happy. Like get okay with getting a little selfish about that. You know what? Even like nurses and doctors and teachers, like everyone who's in service, like God bless you, but then also say, I do all these things because ultimately I choose to, and it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good to help other people. It makes me feel good to help people that I love. Okay. It makes me feel good at the end of the day to know like my kids are good. They're good. That makes me feel good. Everything should be to make you feel good because when you feel good, everything unfolds that you want. Everything that is in front of your face, like literally shows up. Creative solutions are in front of your face right now, right now. I want to hike and I want to feel great. Awesome. Amanda, you put that in that movie, girl, and you see you and Willow hiking up that mountain and high-fiving and loving life, but not just the hike. You get to the top, you look out and you're like, I did that. That I did that feeling is the best feeling, right? You guys can have that all day long. So go deeper with your why, okay? Stop using your imagination to worry. And this is probably the juiciest takeaway that I can give you right now, okay? Is this one, <laughs> bringing your power into the everyday now. You guys, if I had known this earlier, I would have gotten to Malibu sooner. Okay. It took me a lot of years to get to Malibu, California. And I like love all the detours and divots that I took and big oops moments and small oops moments and some really big oops moments along the way. But when I figured this one key out, everything changed. Okay. And it was this, it is bringing that version of you into the power of right now. And I'm going to tell you that life is a string of moments strung together. So though, although you believe that when you're in this body or when you have this house or when you're going on that hike or whatever, that, that version of you, that when you go to Italy, <laughs> when you think that you need these things to actually happen and then when you get there, you'll be happy, you're actually pushing it further apart from you. And if you want to bring it close to you, like I said, like nose close, like, like it's right here, <laughs> right here, your goal. If you want to really bring it that close, you need to take the person that you are all happy and healthy and getting your epic goal crushed. It's done and done. Okay. That's why my favorite word is done. That's why it's fun gets more done in 2021. Okay. My, my mantra for 2021, you guys can have it. Fun is getting more done with us in Strong Confident Living in, in 2021 because everything that you want is already inside you right now. And it is already out there. So this last tip, okay, is to bring it into the power of now because right now is a moment that you can still, like, I, like I'm going to bring this full circle now, guys, full circle to the beginning of this workshop, which is Every feeling exists inside you right now. Every feeling. Just like that really good movie that could pull it out. But life can pull it out. And you can pull it out, okay? By harnessing your strength and confidence. Confidence being able to, confidence is seeing this vision. Confidence is having the self-esteem to be confident enough that a positive outcome is possible for you. 
And then the belief that you can close the gap or start to see what's right in front of you, that these, these creative solutions actually exist, okay? But you have to do this step. You have to not just see it and believe it. You have to see it and believe it right now, right now. You have to be that person right now. And maybe you're like, but Laura, but I'm still hundred pounds overweight. And I'm like, okay. But start, when you snack your next snack, snack like you're the person in here, okay? Like when I wanted to lose the baby weight and I couldn't and I was angry and I was not me and all that. And like, I was like, okay, let me, what's the, what's the two minute version of me? Oh, the two minute version of me is like, wow, she's on the beach, she's in a bikini. Like she on shorts, what? She wears sports bras, what? I never wore sports bras. Showing my stomach, what? I never showed my stomach. I never showed my stomach, okay, what? right? In a sports bra, like shorts attire. I did wear maybe suits, but like what? So I started picturing this and then I was like, all right, if I'm about to have a snack right now and I just want to eat the chips and throw in the towel and not feel good about myself. And I just yelled at my kids and whatever. Now I just want to eat more. Right. And I was like, no, no, no. What would this two minute version movie of Laura do? Oh yeah. The one that's like going for a photo shoot with her family at the beach. <laughs> what would that version do? Oh, she would have the hummus and the broccoli, right? Then she'd say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plan for the little 15% fun and have the little ice cream because life's fun and I'm not going to battle with food anymore. Food's no longer a battle. Why am I battling with food? Food is like a, food's like this. Food's like this. Food's like this, like a picture. Like, why am I giving food my power, right? I start, you start like unblocking and unraveling in this final nugget which is as you start to treat yourself as the person who's stepping on the airplane, as the person who's walking in the room in the body that you want, as the person who has that relationship, as the person who has that bank account, as you start treating yourself right now, okay? Right now, <laughs> ding. When you're brushing your teeth at night and you're imagining this tonight, I want you to uh, brush your teeth and now take it another step further and you're imagining you're brushing the teeth of that person. I'm brushing the teeth of that person, the one who's getting on the airplane, the one who has that body, the one who has that relationship. Because I promise you when you are in that house or have that relationship or have that body, you're gonna still be brushing your teeth. So why don't brush the teeth of that person? And think about what that person's doing as their next choice and their next choice and their next choice. And I promise you, you will start crushing your epic goal in a much bigger way because you have to start going into the power of now. And then massive action will follow and not scattered, harried massive action that's trying to undo from all the lack that I'll teach you guys in our next workshop, which is on how to manifest. Okay. This is epic goals, how to set the goal, but the next workshop, right? On 111 is going to be manifesting, manifesting, how to actually manifest and all the manifesting mistakes you're doing wrong. Okay. That's the next workshop. But you guys, in the meantime, you have to bring it into the power of now. You have to start imagining it in the movie, the two minute movie. You have to, have to, have to believe it's possible and say every time I'm in doubt and doubt that feeling of doubt, I remind myself, but I've got all the feelings. If I've got doubt, I've got confidence. If I've got the feeling of lack, I've got the feeling of abundance. If I've got unhappy, I've got happy. Okay. Which lights look like, how am I switching on those lights? And you guys know in our content, in our curriculum, like all I do, all I do in this is a five like mini crash course, but all I do inside our content is turn on those light switches. I turn them on, right? Into releasing, releasing, releasing these labels, releasing the judgment, like turning up willpower, right? Getting you healthy, helping you work out, like all the things, right? Releasing the power of our, over the scale, like how to go one degree and not 10 degrees how to flex that willpower and, and fear of missing out over good foods, like how to step into trust, stop testing everything, like stop waiting for these things to change outside of you. Like you want to crush epic goals, like just sink into the framework, sink into the coaching, 
like I, I keep giving this football analogy because this was the picture for our Christmas card. And it was like me realizing that like, you all need to stop getting on this like bench and start playing as the star player. The star player is in your movie. You are the star actor. Everyone else is just a cast of characters. They're gonna show up differently when you show up differently. I promise you, okay? You've got to change yourself with these steps. And, and that's why it, like we give you that like a framework that every month you do different classes with us. Every month. So this month is epic goals and manifesting going and like that's going to be our, our January. And then of course, like you're going to do the fitness alongside it. So if you have, I saw, I saw some people and they're only right now do, diving into the mindset, which is great, but you're ready to also become a worker outer. Okay. Do the workouts with us. They're so fun. And they're at the beach. Okay. Do the programs guys do both because Scott will teach you the action and follow through. He will teach you how to push through when you don't want to. Okay. Cause believe me, I don't want to, I, I hardly ever want to work out. Okay. That's truth. <laughs> so when you don't want to like, I'll lighten it up and say, that's when you have to, that's when you dig deeper because it's going to help this. It's going to help open up a pathway for the vision to come true because you're going to hold yourself different physically and it's going to open up a new pathway. You guys have this and you have us. And when you like join our stuff with us, I promise you guys, okay, when you join our Strong Confident Living membership, you know, you're getting thousands of dollars of this coaching, okay? We chose not to do private one-on-one -on -one, like coaching and making thousands of dollars that way, okay? Because we want to impact everybody. Everybody, like my epic goal is in millions of people. Like talk about self-doubt, like, like creeping in. I need you guys. I need you guys to be strong and confident with us because this is a movement of people taking on this framework and stepping into their strength. Look at the pictures inside our Strong Confident Living community. You guys bring tears to our eyes every single day when I read the comments and when I see what's coming through. You are on your way to crushing some massive epic goals with us in 2021. And people need to see themselves in you. People need to see your strength of like you digging deeper. People need to see your confidence that you can hold a new vision for yourself for 2021 based on your struggles. These things exist. All I can promise you is that we will continue to give you everything we've got, right? Everything we've got, which is our hearts. You get our hearts. There's so much stuff. There is so much stuff going on in this world right now that is there to pull you down, that is there to tell you you can't, that is there to be like, nope, nope, do this because I say so. And, and I want you all to be that bright, shiny star in someone's life, starting with your own, that says, I showed up differently. I'm going to give it everything I got. I am strong. I am confident. I can and I will. And on the days that I'm feeling doubt and I'm comparing myself or I'm asking how, how is this actually going to happen? I'm going to trust that there's a framework. I'm going to trust in that there's a plan. I'm going to go into my strong, confident living mindset. I'm going to stop, drop, and work out when I can't get it out of my head. I'm going to do these things. So I too, just like Laura and Scott, that you guys see the strength and confidence in us because we've been practicing this for 25 years, okay? 25 years of impacting hundreds of thousands of people now. Hundreds of thousands of us, our impact has been from our education years to our health and wellness, like owning gyms years and all that, okay? But we need you to be the example. So when you see us and you're like, I wanna rock my body like that, I wanna be strong and confident like that, you need to carry that through in your family when you look in the mirror and into your community. And that's why, again, this is a movement. And you guys, you do have this, you have this deep. So if you are brand new here, 
and just let me know newbie, newbie, newbie in the house. If you're new, okay, and you're watching this on Facebook, you're seeing this maybe later on YouTube, you're watching this on the replay, you're inside our membership, however you're getting this video or someone tagged you, like whatever it is, if you are new, okay, and you are not already in our program, I just took away everything but one thing. We just KIFS'd it, keep it effing simple. It is $29 a month, $29.99. It is $29 a month, okay? For thousands of dollars of coaching framework. And that's it. It's month to month. You don't want to be there one month? Just stop. You want to come back in? Come back in. That is how we've always run things. It's like, you want to be there? Be there. You want to show up? Show up. We believe in you. And we believe in our content because we have seen this content light up children that we worked with in the most inner cities of Washington, D.C. and New York City. We have seen this content work with teachers who like when we walked into like when we were educators and we used to train teachers and principals, we would see people screaming at kids, screaming. And maybe that's your household right now. OK, you guys, you be the example. Like we are able to flip people's lives around and it is time to flip your life around. You can do this. This is for everybody, which is why we made it accessible. Okay, this is so accessible. I mean, my husband, Scott, and I were laughing because we're like, it's a dollar a day. And I'm like, babe, it's 50 cents for you. And it's 50 cents for me, literally four quarters. I'm like, how priceless are your goals? How priceless are your goals? Because uh, to me, seeing you guys like more strong and more confident, I can't put a price tag on it. So when we decided to do $29.99 for our membership, I was like, all right, like we know we can be thousands of dollars and just reach handfuls of people who can afford it. Or we know that we can create a movement with you guys that spread this thing because your examples and then someone else is like, I want to do that. And we don't ever want them to be like, I can't do that because I don't have the money. Okay. So you guys, this is it. This is strong, confident living. This is time to crush epic goals. We have your roadmap. We have your playbook. We have your blueprint. It is waiting for you. And the star of your entire like show, movie, play, game, everything that you can create with us is you. You have been not the problem all along. You have been the solution this whole time. You just needed someone to remind you who you truly are. And we are going to be those teachers, the ones that you wish that your kids get at school. Okay. But for you as your adults and kids, we are going to be those, we are going to be those teachers. Okay. I love you guys so much. Thank you for participating in this Epic Goals workshop. Members, get your butts in. Okay. Get your butts in on Wednesday night, same time. I will share out the Zoom link via email to all of you tomorrow. I promise I'll be updating the calendar of events. And I'm going to be going, we're going to roll up our sleeves. We call it sleeveless, right? Sleeveless, hashtag sleeveless. And I am going to do what I just did with you into every area. So you're going to take a piece of paper. You're going to fold it into all eight pieces. And you're going to see, I'm going to share with you what I do to break down all the different areas of my life, create all the core values and all the epic goals and all the little two minute movies. And we're going to roll up our sleeves together and we're going to do it on January 6th at 8 o'clock Eastern. So if you're not already a member and you join in, the first three days are um, a gift. It's a three free day trial. So if you're not already a member, you're going to get that group private mindset coaching as part of your trial experience, which is amazing. Okay, so Wednesday, 1-6-2021, I will see you guys there. Mark your calendars also for 1-11 is the next um, manifesting workshop where I'm gonna be going through manifesting mistakes because I've done this way too long now to know where people trip up, okay? Where people mess up, where they fall down, where they need to get back up. So I'm gonna be going through like the top mistakes and how to flip them immediately in, in next week's broadcast, um, which launches into our manifesting uh, new, new course that's launching on that date, which is Big Bang Your Body, like Big Bang. This is Big Bang Explosion, guys. This is Big Bang, okay? This is literally Big Bang Your Life. Like this is putting all the stuff in the nucleus to explode in 2021. I love you guys so much. You know, I could keep talking. So I'm going to just go now. Thanks for all the birthday wishes. You guys, like just, this is my birthday wish for you to be more strong and more confident and be the example that you're meant to be in this world. 
I can't wait to see you on the inside of our programs. I can't wait to see you throughout 2021 in this membership and really helping you every step of the way. Mwah. Bye guys.